packaging is rubbish. Good sunscreen, terrible packaging, will not repurchase. morning it is another Tuesday um, sitting here with my second coffee and um and um started recording I don't really have anything to say it is looking to be the first day of summer today it is the 30th of November so technically summer's tomorrow but it has not been warm since February <laughs> and I am here for a 30 degree day um, but because I'm, you know, on the cusp of elderly, that means that I will not cope with the heat, that I will die, I will melt, having a warm coffee, I don't know if you can see my glow, that's actually just sweat because I've been hanging in the washing. In preparation for it being warm, actually, it will be warm tomorrow. Hey Google, what's the forecast tomorrow? Tomorrow in Korowa, there'll be scattered thunderstorms <laughs> with a high of 29 and a low of 17. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, anyway, in preparation for the warm weather, I put together a batch of cold brew this morning, which obviously won't be ready till tomorrow, but thunderstorms tomorrow. That's exciting. <clears throat> it's exciting uh, because it we all love a humid summer, which is the forecast for where I live, but also uh, my arthritis reacts particularly badly to sudden changes in weather pressure, so air pressure. So going from a beautiful sunny day, as you saw, to a thunderstorm is going to make me in a lot of pain tomorrow. But that's a problem for future Elizabeth to deal with. That's why we have painkillers. So the plan today, the plan today, what I really want to do is play Medieval Dynasty. That's what I did all weekend. It was amazing. But unfortunately in the real world, there's stuff to do. So the plan today is to tackle the shelves that I showed you last week that I bought. I'm going to take the shelves off. Hang on, let me show you. So you can see I'm making preparations already. I put the drill out. Um, that was step one was find the drill. Step two was make sure the drill is charged. Step three, take the shelves off that one and I'm going to stain them. We have a, a wood stain in the shed. I don't even know what color it is, but it's there. It hasn't ever been opened. So I thought I may as well give it a go. And if it's a terrible color, I will paint over it. Uh, and then I've got this one as well, which uh, if I get to today, I'm gonna to just oil, I'm gonna dust them and then oil it. This is actually becoming a really nice place to stand and work. So, so I'm actually going to rearrange the space uh, where my computer is. That's my computer there. Um, uh, so that the desk can go here against this wall. I think um, I've been putting off moving my desk for a long time because it's such a pain in the ass. Even though my husband will literally do all the work <laughs> and he doesn't mind doing all the work. Um, it's just... It's such a faff and I can't just, I hadn't decided whether I was just going to rearrange it in this space. You've seen this space before. It's got all our computers. It's got all the books. It's, it's basically our office, but it's also the walkway to the one functional bathroom. So it's, it's not a conducive space to do things like stream on Twitch or, you know, film fancy videos. She says, realizing that she will never film fancy videos because that's not that's not the vibe around here. If you want fancy, pro, you know, produced videos, you want a proper YouTuber, not a forty-year-old working off her phone in a country town in Australia. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If that's your vibe, because that's definitely my vibe. That's what I do. But that's my plan for the shelves. Is I've let them sit in the space for a minute, 
and now I've got an idea of how I want to use them. So I'm going to finish this and then we're going to get the drill out. I'm, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I did do a supervised test run last night just to make sure I could do the drill. I, I can't be unsupervised with power tools. It's, it's known. I was unsupervised in the supermarket at Christmas, which means nobody stopped me from buying a tin of Walker shortbread with a tartan beret wearing Loch Ness monster. I think it just had normal shortbread in it, which is sad because how awesome would Loch Ness monster shortbread be? Oh, let me get in. I have made shortbread in the past and I really genuinely prefer walkers. All right, let's do it. Ooh, they're big. Ooh, and they're individually wrapped in two packs. Although I only need one. Nobody will share with me. No one else likes them. That is a cute size tin. I have no regrets. And because I was unsupervised, I've gone with the assortment box, which is that the right way up? Yes. It's upside down on the back, so I have to guess that it has white chocolate and raspberry, Belgian chocolate chunks, oat flake and honey. This is the only only time of the year I buy this sort of junk in the supermarket. And um, I make no apologies, but I'm going to open it now and have try the oat one because I've never had that before. And again, <clears throat> literally nobody will share these with me. Ooh, there's heaps. I guess that justifies the cost. Let's get into it though. Oh, I wrecked it already. I wrecked it already. Mmm, good. It's like a less chewy, less golden syrupy Anzac biscuit. We're not allowed to say that Anzac biscuits are in Australia enshrined in legislation. <laughs> so here's a similar being oaty. Oh, it's better than Anzac biscuits. I think that's illegal to say in Australia. Let's do some work. Um, I was a student of CSU once upon a time and they sent me this for free and it's now it's my painting shirt. So my husband, who actually knows what he's doing, advised me to mark which shelf goes where when I take them off and also what is the front so that uh, the holes for the screws will line up when I put them back, which makes a lot of sense and I would never have thought of it. So, one. Oh no, how do you do a floor upside down? This is the terrifying part. If I make a ridiculous fool of myself, I'm just going to edit it out. So that's what happens if there's no footage of me trilling. One. Should we do a close-up of my scales? <laughs> now i got to get this thing off, preferably safely. No guarantees. Well, okay, that was anticlimactic. Should I do them all? Should I just... I think I'll just stain one, and then if I don't like it, we'll reevaluate the plan. All right, there's a slight flaw in my plan in that I thought we had microfiber cloths and we don't. And I was instructed microfiber cloths are the go. So I've just grabbed a bit of rag, which is actually <laughs> A nappy, a cloth nappy from when my child was small. She never wore them as nappies, but geez, they're handy for freaking everything else. So I'm going to try that. Um, but this is, this is our workshop slash garage. I've moved the car out for a bit of space and ventilation with the door open. Um, it is a mess. I've got a fine collection of clamps. I don't know what all this crap is. My husband doing some projects. Um, this is the paint that I used on my bookshelves. Um, you don't have to prime it and you don't have to finish it. And that's the color courgette. Um, I have finished it with this stuff. 
flat mat sealer, uh, some gardening gloves, some, there's a terps bottle, that thing, because we use terps over here. This is our 3D resin printer. That's the printer. That's the curing thing. That's where you rinse off the stuff. That's the spider spray because redbacks live in here. It's redback season. We haven't sprayed yet. Um, and then it gets a bit scary. It's just generally not enough space for all the dreams. <laughs> I found the I found the stain that we had. It says it's rosewood, which sounds like it's going to be too red for my flavor, but we'll try it with this rag, see how we go. That's my painting apron, I should put that on. Actually, I think that's coming out okay. I can't see my pencil marker, which was the front. I'm gonna watch this footage back and determine. I think this was the front. I'm actually pretty pleased. That's picked up the grain of the wood. Can you see that? I can't see what you're seeing. So it's dry now, and I've just put it back on the frame to see how I like it in situ. And it's not showing the color very well because of the glare from the door, which is, there but i really really like it it's like a moody goth purple situation ah uh, so i'm gonna focus i like the texture because of the wood even though it is just ply and with, that means i have to continue which sucks <laughs> And also, I don't know which is front and which is back now. So that's also very clever. But we'll continue on. I'm going to mark the rest of them with Sharpie rather than pencil so I know which is which. I'm so happy. I feel like we've been here before. It's Thursday. Good morning. Here's some coffee with ice cubes because it's summer today. Obviously, you've just finished watching the video that I edit, 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 edited together. Or you just skip to the end, in which case you do you. Um, so anyway, good job me or um, good effort me. Try again next week. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like yet. Um, but I am not going to film anymore because uh, today is a hard day. They happen to everyone. But as someone who's been living with a disability for half their life at this point, nearly... In my head, I'm 40. I'm only 39, but in my head, I've hit 40. I'm that age. I have those interests. And that's fine. I'm, I don't dread turning 40 because it's better than the alternative, but also it's not a, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Turning 30 was a big deal for me. Um, probably more about that another time. Uh, but in my head, I'm, I'm already at 40. All my friends are 40. Uh, so where was I going? Yeah, so <laughs> living with a disability, <laughs> way to get off topic. Um, sometimes you just have hard days and I'm, it's taken me a while, but I've learned to roll with the punches and listen to my body when it says you need to stop and rest. And so that is today. I'm not going to finish those shelves. 
I am going to attempt to write a blog post, which I have not done in over a year, so I'm a little bit rusty. <clears throat> but since my website is up and running now, uh, <sighs> I'm shaking my head just because this is it's costing so much money. <laughs> Uh, but hobbies cost money, don't they? Um, and I enjoy it. So at the moment, while I have a part-time job, I can afford to have a hobby. Uh, so where was I going? So I'm going to write a blog post, I think. And um, that is it. I'm going to listen to my body. And <sighs> this one's pretty good because in my screen, I can't see how tired I look. What do you think? I've got a bit of a, is she SPF or is she just sweating kind of glow? I don't look super tired. <laughs> I did think about putting on some face paint today and then I was like, no, no. All right, I'm rambling because I do want to hang out with you, but I also know that the, the thing to do is to rest. So I'm going to rest and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.